What's up? What's up, Facebook? I'm just doing a brief live, just a uh, couple minutes. It's uh, about 25 degrees below zero. And uh, so long as I can stay out here and go live, that's what I'm going to try to do. So, uh, yep, that's what we're looking like. Um, basically, I was talking to my boy Joe over at Smoking Joe Barbecue. He recommended me a way of doing this. Uh, old Smoking Joe Barbecue recommended me a way of doing this brisket. So I'm going to just follow the recommendation. I saw the video and I was inspired, baby. So I went out and got me a nice brisket. And I'm going to go ahead and throw it on the good one, Marshalls. So I don't care how cold it is. Look at this snow, baby. Look at this snow. I'm out here at my barbecue trailer, guys. So uh, they're going to trigger XL. I'm on top of my barbecue trailer trailer. So uh yep, so um that's what we looking like, my barbecue concession trailer. So I got my good one Marshall here mounted. Yeah, it is beautiful, brother. Thanks, Eric. Yep, yep. So um this is the first time we're putting as much rub on a brisket, Eric. First time ever, brother. So um I'm hoping that this uh yeah, the brisket is beautiful. So I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping that uh, uh, that this uh bark turns out like my boy over in uh, Smoking Joe. I think I'm gonna do everything he did on his video. Uh, I just used a couple different rubs, but uh, I tell you what, guys, this brisket looks amazing, and I'm doing a video as we speak. But before I went ahead and turned it in for the night, I just want to do a brief overview. So I'm, I'm just getting the fire up the temperature right now. And I'm finna slide this baby in. Yep, so I'm, uh, I'm sliding in right here. And this, and this uh, Marshall, you can hold, shoot, I think I had like 14 briskets on this thing, easy. Let me show you something. So if I put them this way here, I could put three on each one. And I have five racks, so I could put 15 brisket on this Marshall. And it cooks them easy, bro, I'm telling you. But I'm just doing one today. Yep, <clears throat> I never cooked it this cold before, so, so yeah, it, it's pretty cold. I got all the vents wide open. I'm gonna go ahead and get them cut down once I uh get going. So uh, yep. I tell you what, it's been so cold here in Iowa, man. Too, it's been ridiculous. Uh, yep. So uh, I, 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 I'm gonna just go ahead and uh go for what I know. What temperatures I hear is uh negative is negative I think twelve or thirteen right now. It, what's up? What's up? So it's uh it, it it's negative twelve or thirteen and the wind ain't blowing so it, it's not that bad. But it's super cold out here. Yeah, it's super cold, but I'm gonna uh like I say, I'm gonna cook this brisket and rock it on out. That is cold, bro. That is cold. Super cold. And we got a lot of snow on the ground. Don't want my trigger XL, guys. I've been trying to get all the snow off of it and, and get that thing. Uh, trying to get this trailer cleaned up. I want to bring y'all in. So, yep. That, so, that's what I'm doing. What's up, bro? Kirby Q. My boy Kirby. How you doing, brother? Love you, man. Out there in Virginia. That's my boy. Mr. Brown, how you doing? Check it in from Georgia, GA, Valdosta. Well, you know, I used to live in Valdosta, Georgia, before I, but when I moved back to Florida. But uh, yeah, what about the Valdosta Wildcats, Lowndes County Plowboys? Well, it'll be Lowndes County Vikings. Excuse me, Vikings. Excuse me, Lowndes County Vikings. I'm sorry, but yeah. So uh, we trying to get this good one, Marshall, up the temperature. What's Joe? Hey, hey, I told you, Joe. I told you, Joe, boy, I'm, I'm going to try to get this thing done. This is the good one, Marshall, okay? This, this smoker is, uh, this smoker right here on the good one, Marshall, is, uh, it's a pretty good, nice size smoker, okay? Let me explain it to you. So, here's the cook chamber part of the, the good one, okay? And here's the cooking surface right here. Yep. And um, like I said, got one, two, three, four racks. Excuse me, not five racks, but four racks. 
and they all pull out and you can get like three brisket on each rack so you can get three briskets this way on each rack uh it depends on the size but you probably get three on each rack i didn't got three on each rack and um it's a stick burner and the reason why i got this mounted on my trailer is just that you can hold large capacity of food so i could i could put um six slabs on each rack so you know uh so i could get 18 slabs of ribs on that easy baby backs that is not spares but i could get a lot a lot of food on that good one then i got this um trigger xl right here um you know i got them all covered up for the winter but this is on top of my barbecue concession trailer so uh yep you got to be prepared man so if i got electricity i can always put food on my pellet smoker but if i don't got electricity i got me a stick burner so that's the reason why i went try to go with two different types of smokers on my food trailer so um i just want to uh kind of bring you in uh do anybody want to see the food trailer inside now i got the or oh, the firebox okay let me show you where the firebox at okay so that's the firebox right there so and 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 the firebox is back here i don't want to open it and this lever right here controls the um how much heat you put in your 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 cooking chamber so and then you load it from the back buddy okay and i got all my vents open right here I got all my vents open right here. So, like I say, I want to have pretty much all my vents open so I can get all the air I can in the, um, the Marshall. And I want to get this thing cooking. And let me tell you something. This thing is a cooker, buddy. I don't want a, lot, uh, a good number of competition. Oh, you want to see a side of my trailer? Well, okay, I'm going to let you know. Um... I've been cleaning because we had 50 degrees one day last week, so I started cleaning and it's kind of frozen inside because the cold cracked my linoleum in my trailer. So I guess we'll go in and look in the cook inside of my concession trailer, okay? Let's go in. Oh, okay. So this is this is my warmer because um, it gets. It was 30 degrees below zero, so I didn't want this door to crack on this warmer like it cracked on my floor. You see how that floor crack? That's because it got 30 degrees below zero, and this is not heated. So it, it cracked because of the cold, so I didn't want that to crack to my warmer. So I took the door off and took it inside, and I got it put up in a warm, cozy place. So that's the warmer. I got 20 sh cookie sheets I put in here. And this is for me to keep the food warm. And actually, it goes up to 220 degrees. So I could wrap the ribs and put them, uh, I could put them out in here, okay? So this is my refrigerator I have here, okay? This is my, um, and I, I don't do concessions in the wintertime. Uh, everything got the three base sinks. I have my hand washing station right here, you know, certified hand washing station. Here's my uh, license. Say that I'm good, TNT barbecue. That's been expected. It's good till June of this year. Here's my little microwave I have. I have my number up here. This is my cash register. Um, just a couple items I got stocked in here. Just remember my barbecue needs, my cheese, you know, frozen, so what the heck. And this is like all my totes I have. Stitch of cords, my billboard, my billboard stand. Uh, look at these roasters, guys, okay? I got, uh... What, what, what cost? The Marsh, $2,000. If you're talking about that. So here's my, um, all my crock pots. Yes, it does. So here's all my crock pots right here. And here's my, 
Um, that's all brand new roasters I keep in the box for weddings and stuff. So I only use those for weddings. So uh, they're, them are just for weddings. So like, say if I have like 10 or 12 weddings, uh, I mean, excuse me, like a wedding to do. And I got like probably about eight roasters in a box that I always use just for roasting. These are just more for like vending and cooking stuff in inside the trailer. Okay, so we go over here. Uh, here's my steam table. You gotta excuse the junk on top of it. Here's my steam table right here. And you can get uh, a lot of pulled pork inside these steam tables. I could get uh, a case in two of them. So I could get like seven butts in each of those um, roasters. So th that holds a lot. It holds about 45 to 50 pounds each section. And then it holds like uh, th uh, three to four cans of beans right here. So, and this can hold cheese and you can hold your right here. And then you can put your Boston butts over here to replace the food. You can put your Boston butts, your ribs, your rib tips, your sausages all here. And it keeps it warm in this big old uh, warmer. So, uh, that's that's how I do it. It's simple. Uh, you know, I don't do no frying or nothing. I just do barbecue. Okay. All right, that's what's up. You know, it, 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 it's, uh, so that's what I'm looking at. So let's go back outside because my hands are getting numb. Uh, and we're just going to see what we look looking like here. Ooh, it's cold out there. Cold, out, cold in there, okay. Close that up. Ugh. So, yep, the good one, Marshall. So I just hope that it, 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 it does a good job for us. I'm using some B&B &B lump charcoal, and I'm using some mesquite wood chunks. So B&B &B oak lump charcoal, and it also says Texas style. So I used a whole bag of that. So I'm expecting this gonna be a 16-hour cook. So I wanna go ahead and get this done. Like I said, I'm not gonna wrap it. I'm not gonna do nothing. I'm not gonna spritz it until I see that bark is, um, like Joe say, that the bark needs to be, uh, um, basically where you get your thumbnail, you scratch it, and it doesn't move. So I want that bark to be sat in like super nice, super hard before I do anything to this bark. And I'm thinking with the, with the cold as it is and, and everything, that's going to probably be about eight hours. Anybody got a recommendation on how long it's going to take this bark to get done? So if you all got give me a little hint. How long you think it's going to take this bark to get done? The bark, not the brisket, but the bark. Like, uh, like get the bark to set on the brisket. So, uh, nobody's talking, but that's okay. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just going to hand and get out this coal. I got my camera going. Too long. Five hours. Deep impact. All right, five hours. <laughs> Too long. Okay, I got you guys. I got you. Uh, seven to eight hours. Okay. Yeah, probably seven to eight hours, I think, before the bark set in. But, uh, yep, yeah, so uh, I'm going to try to get this smoker up to 275, and I'm going to lock it in. That's one thing about this smoker. Three to four hours, eh, I don't know, boy, with all this cold going on. I don't know. I think my hands are getting barked up right now with all this cold. <laughs> what temperature? Cook? I'm going to go to 275. So, as you can see, this smoker is really catching up on temperature. I guess six hours, yeah, six to seven to eight hours. So, you can see... It's raising. It's going. So, one thing about the smoker, oh, South Kakalaki, six and a half hours. Yeah, that'd be a safe bet. Six and a half hours for the bark. Seven hours there. Yeah, most definitely. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not used. To, uh, it, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it with some butcher's paper. Yeah, probably after. Uh. Well, yes, it is. Yes, it is. What part of are you from? Uh, uh, but, yeah, it, 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 it is super duper cold right now. And it's getting colder. Venton. Boom. Boom town. Venton boom town. Hey, come holler at me. I'll be set up at Venton. 
Come holler at me, man. Uh, hey, thank you again, Mr. Jordan. Yeah. Yes, sir. We all do come hook me up at Vent and Boom Time. I'll be out there concession trail, have my pig out there. Okay, that's what's up. What's up? Thank you again. Thank you again. Like I said, I'm going live. Now, <clears throat> I'm letting this marshal come up to temp. And like I said, guy, I never cooked a brisket like this before. Never. Yep, most definitely. So, it is good fun cooking in the cold, but uh, I'm a Florida boy. I like the heat. <laughs> What did I smoke for the Super Bowl? We did some jalapeno poppers. We did some uh, uh, bacon wrapped meatballs. Yeah, them beef reels off the chains. Oh, what it says on the Marshall, can you do? I'm sorry, it goes by so fast. And, I, and I'm trying, my hands are shaking and it's hard. I got this little phone, so it's hard to read everybody. Um, Remarks. So if I miss your remarks, I'm just getting brief, re, uh, brief reads of it. If that makes sense. So um, oh, it's a stick burner, baby. Stick burner. This is not but stick, baby. This is not a pellet grill. This is that's my pellet grill right there. Pellet grill, stick burner. Yep, the good one. Marshall's a stick burner, baby. And you should smell what I'm smelling. Look, it's almost up 200 degrees out here. So I'm telling you, this thing is rocking, baby. It is rocking. It is rocking, man. It's almost 200 degrees already. And it's getting up the temperature, man. And I, one thing about the smoker, once it get to cracking, lacking, cooking, it goes to cooking. So, I, I, you know, I just want to make sure I keep it at 250 to 260. I'm smoking with some mesquite and lump oak charcoal so i say oak and lump yes i can remove the racks in the smoker i'm just lift it up for you rick oh i should be doing this Ooh. so uh but since we lie right now i lied I, I, yeah you can see the racks you, you can take them out actually but yeah, the racks slide out. You can remove them. You can do all that kind of stuff. You see that fire back there? So you can do all that. So I'm going to close this back up. Uh. Yeah, so look at the church people right there coming up there. Yeah, I volunteer at the church. Give them a lot of barbecue and stuff. So no more church guys. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You can put it right there for me. Where at? Right there, yeah, right there. On the porch? On the porch, yes, sir. How? I, there's more car in there for you, too. Oh, it is? You got to give me no car. I thank you, guys. Oh, uh, thank you. Make sure y'all come to the um, Coliseum free barbecue, okay? What day? Uh, Next Saturday, TNT barbecue. Okay. Free barbecue for the public. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, so come early, because I'm ain't. I'm on it. Oh, I, I, f I forgot. <laughs> I, it's, a sign we'll and quick star. it's a sign of quick start. Okay, all right. All right, look, God bless y'all guys. God bless you too. Thank you, Steve. No problem, brother. All right. So, yep, I'm sorry. Hey, so, um, I'm just saying bye to the church people. Yeah, that that, that is a group um, for, like, um, gentlemen that get in trouble. And of course, I'm connected to them because I work at the sheriff's office. So what happens? They they they, they get in trouble. They go to jail, and it uh, it helps build up young men and older men that been in trouble with drugs or whatnot, you know. And it teaches them through the Bible how to not come back to jail. So, guys, I'm telling you what. If I could do anything for anybody, that's just me. It, I, it, you know that that's what it's about. That's what barbecue is about. Helping everybody. It's not about putting money in your pocket. It's not about who got the best grill. It's about if you got a big smoker, you're not helping nobody. You're not doing nothing for the kids. You're not doing nothing for your neighbors. 
hey, man, you know, barbecue. But that's just how I feel. I feel like, you know, sharing barbecue, you know, all the time. So I get a lot of calls for fundraisers. But guess what? I do them, guys. You, get, you got to give back to the community. Oh, federal corrections. That's what's up. Peace. You know, um, DOC. I used to pick up inmates. Yeah, God bless me. Yeah, God bless you too, brother. God always bless me, brother, and I can't help but to bless other people. Yep, yep, yep. So uh, thank God for that. But let's get back to talking about this government marshal, okay? This smoker is bad, bro. I'll tell you, I went down to the state fair, and I kicked some butt on this smoker. I did some beef ribs, and I got first place. First place, baby, at the state fair, and I got first place showmanship. So uh, I got can't say enough about this smoker. So it, it's doing what it's supposed to do. And it's coming up the temperature. How often I eat barbecue? Oh man, shoot. So to be honest with you, I give most of my barbecue away. Yep, yep, most definitely. Barbecue do have a good family values, and it's awesome. Uh, if you love barbecue, you love your family, you love good people, you're a great person, you love barbecue. So, um, I, I, I give a lot of my barbecue away, but I love cooking. I, love, I guess I love the cooking more I love to eat. I like eating other people's barbecue. <laughs> yes, I will. So, I love to feed people more I love to eat the barbecue. But, you know, uh, this brisket, I think I'm going to really enjoy Cause I like a deep smoke flavor on my brisket and this smoker gives the smoke flavor. So, uh, yep. So I'm going to start, um, getting this smoker adjusted cause it's really taking off right now. I think we're at, um, so we're almost there. So we're getting, we're getting hot. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, like I say, it hasn't been, I've been out here 20, 20, 22 minutes. My hands are freezing, guys, but um, I'm out here for 22 minutes, and the smoker is, is getting up to 225, 2225 in that area. So I just tell you how the smoker is. I'm doing this old school. I'm just cooking just by bark. You know, once the bark get, I'm going to wrap it. Once the toothpick go in it, I'm going to take it off like butter. So that's how I'm cooking this brisket. It's not going to be temp. It's not going to be nothing technical. It's going to be just... uh. Hopefully a home down great backyard brisket. And the video is coming. So yeah, I'm doing all my rambling now. So I'm gonna have to do all my rambling when I'm shooting the video. <laughs> so if you want to hear TNT Ramble, <laughs> tune in right now <laughs> for TNT Rambling about the barbecue. So you want to hear it on the videos. So uh yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Yeah, but um, hey, um, you know I, I, what inspired me to do this video is a Joe over at Smoking Joe Barbecue. I want y'all to go over there and uh, subscribe to his channel, man. Uh, Smoking Joe Barbecue. Uh, go over there and subscribe to his channel. Um, he's from Texas. He do a good job. So um, like I say, you know, somebody can post this link up there. Oh man, that's what's up. So it should be done. <clears throat> I'm thinking I'm thinking it's gonna be a 12 hour cook. So I mean, I just hate to say it. It's gonna be probably tomorrow when I when I shoot the uh taste test. Hey, deep impact, I wish you could too, bro. Where you from again? Cause see I'm from the south, so uh but this way I live at. Because they don't pay officers enough down in Florida. So this is where I live at. And I got a good boss in uh, Texas. Oh, that's what's up, man. You know, I'm be going down to Texas here pretty soon to hook up with a lot of these Texas guys. I love to travel. I love to, the, 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 I hate driving, but I love to travel. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's why I wish somebody, yeah. Yes, it's, it's Smoker Joe Pitts Barbecue. So appreciate it. Can somebody put his link up there? Thank you. Yeah, please correct me. Please. Yes, yes. Nah, bro, ain't nothing wrong with that. We want to get it right. So if you could, just 
put it up there so everybody could go over to his channel and sub and tell him TNT sent you and that I appreciate him. I appreciate all y'all barbecue guys. But yeah, <clears throat> so um, what part of Florida? I'm from Wildwood, Florida. Uh, I played for the Wildwood Wildcats. And I was recruited to a small. Yes, I have. Yeah, yeah, I have separated the brisket numerous times. Um, yes, I have. I, I, I don't like it that way, but I have separated them by accident, though. By accident, only by accident. <laughs> Doing a little too much trimming, and and oh, just a little keeping it flat in the point. So I just went ahead and separated it. But this is one of my best trimming jobs I ever did on the brisket, though. So. Oh, I wanted to get a prime brisket, but all they had was choice, so I'm running the choice. So I'm gonna make this choice stand up and bark like a dog. So I'm gonna make this choice do his thing. So this choice brisket gonna do his thing. Uh, but guys, I'm telling you, man, look, man, I appreciate y'all guys for watching me. I appreciate y'all for giving me some thumbs up. I wanna tell y'all, look, man, God bless you, and God bless America. We gonna go ahead and, um, Get out this cold, man, and I'm gonna start getting these uh, temperatures adjusted for this brisket. Cause look, we're at 200 and almost 250 degrees right now. So I want to go ahead and get these temperatures adjusted, cause I don't want to cook through all my fuel. So well, we could do that while you're here. So what I like doing is going down right here. Oh well, actually I'm going up, so I want to go down right here. I want to go down right here, so so that so that's what I'm doing here. All right, so I appreciate it. So I want to go over here to this right here. You see that lever? That, that that's the baffle. So I want to go a little bit back right there, and then I'm gonna walk around. I'm walking around to the marsh. I'm going down my steps. That's one thing I don't like about my trailer. It sits up high. So th this is a sitting high concession trailer. So in the back right here, I want to uh, go ahead and get these dialed in for them to get all that air. Use all my charcoal. Okay. So... Yep, so that's how you control your temperature right there. And, oh, I want to show you the firebox, okay? Everybody want to see the firebox for y'all guys. So that's how we're looking at the firebox right there. So, yeah, that's how we're looking right there. So, oh, I play football for Upper Iowa University. Upper Iowa University. I played defense like 40 pounds. <laughs> uh, I was recruited as a defensive nose guard. Wound up being a left tackle. I was pretty fast to be a left tackle, but um, yep. But defense was my thing. But uh, offense kept me. Hey, thank you guys. Yep, thank you. Oh. So give me some thumbs up, guys, if you like what you see. Give me some thumbs up if you like what you see. Upper Iowa University. Upper Iowa University. Hey, man, our mascot was the Peacocks. Home of the Upper Iowa University Peacocks. Yep, a peacock. I'm a peacock. I went from being a Wildwood Wildcat to a... Up our University Peacock, yep. So that's what we were working with, guys. Uh, they're more known for wrestling. They, it was a good wrestling school. Um, I wrestled one year, and it was the hardest thing I ever did in my life. So my hat goes off to those wrestlers. So like I said, guys, I'm going to go wrap this up. I've been out here for 30 minutes in the cold. I'm an icicle. Love you guys. Uh, love everybody. Thank y'all for stopping by my live uh, video. 
with the Marshall. But look at this. Look at this. Now look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about right now, baby. That's what I'm talking about right now. So hopefully that, that gonna home everything in. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So um Yep, so 250, we lock it in. I'm gonna try to get up to 270. But if we keep it locked in at 250, 250, 270, keep it locked in, get that smoke flavor in it, get that mesquite going in it. So um we're gonna have a wonderful brisket. So I wanna say God bless you and God bless America. We out of here. Thank you so much, brother. Yep, yep. Daddy Barbecue, I appreciate it. So, um, yep, so we out of here. I don't want to end it, but I got to because my hands are numb. I wish I could sit out here and chat with y'all guys, sit back with some uh, coffee and relax and just, you know, do that. But I'm finna sit back with the wife and relax a little bit. But thank you guys for all y'all support. All y'all love throughout the years, and thank y'all for subscribing to my YouTube channel and just watching the videos. I really appreciate it, and um, what you see is what you get. I'm TNT all the time, baby. I'm going to try to change it up, switch it around. I'm the same guy every day, so that's why I try to be. That's who I am. Same old guy every day. God bless you. God bless America. Hey, thank you, brother. Bless you and your family over in Texas.